Hello, I'm Susan Woods of Susan Woods Nonprofit Solutions. Thank you for your time. I am so proud to introduce to you a new series of do-it-yourself guides or DIY guides for nonprofit professionals, for people who just don't have the time to take the full online classes that I offer, but instead would simply like the answers to questions immediately. Well, I heard you and I am responding. This is the first DIY guide that I'm offering, and this one is free of charge, just to give you an opportunity to see the layout of the guides and how they are presented to you with audio narration, video simulation, and get to the point contact. This first DIY guide is called How to Choose the Correct Form 990 Information Return for Your Nonprofit. Once again, how to choose the correct Form 990 Information Return for your nonprofit is easy to follow and it is a step-by-step -step guide. Again, this is your gift for clicking on the link to learn more about the DIY guides that I'm offering. So let's jump right into it. Here's a little bit of information about me. Once again, I'm Susan Woods. I started Comprehensive Community-Based Solutions Incorporated way back in 2003. I offered two programs underneath it called Panorama Computer Learning Program, where I traveled around teaching people who were displaced manufacturing workers how to use the Microsoft platform to gain the skills needed to get employment. And then the Emerging Leaders Mentorship Program for Black male youth that we operated to prepare Black male youth for a successful life. I am... I'm sorry, again, I'm Susan Woods of Susan Woods Nonprofit Solutions in which I complete 501c3 application packets for private clients across the United States. I've completed, as of this date, over 400 and my approval rating is 100%. I facilitate in-person and online classes for nonprofit leaders. I've earned three nonprofit management certificates, one from Duke University, Winthrop University, and Wake Forest University. And I am also a three-time graduate of Winthrop University, earning a bachelor's degree in business administration, a master of arts in teaching degree in business education, and a master of business administration degree. I share this information with you just to let you know that I do have the credentials to present the DIY guides to you based on my personal experience in the nonprofit sector, as well as the educational credentials I continue to acquire because I understand the importance of always learning in the nonprofit sector. So I wanted to let you know that I do bring the background to share this information with you. Here's a copyright notice. I'm asking that you please not share this information, the guides with anyone else. Just use them for your own personal library. Thank you very much for respecting this copyright notice. Here are the learning objectives. All 501c3 nonprofit organizations must file the appropriate Form 990 information return each year with very, very few exceptions. So what we're gonna learn in this DYI guide, upon completion of this do-it-yourself quick guide, you will be able to define the Form 990 information return Define the three major types of Form 990s. Determine the annual due dates of Form 990s. And locate the Form 990s on the irs.gov website. So once you complete this do-it-yourself guide, you will be able to perform these tasks. What is the Form 990? The Form 990 information return is the annual return that nonprofit leaders must submit to the Internal Revenue Service each year to avoid automatic revocation. I read that again. The Form 990 information return is the annual return that nonprofit leaders must submit 
to the Internal Revenue Service, IRS, each year to avoid automatic revocation. Just like with us, we have to submit, or we're supposed to submit, a 1040 every year to the IRS to show the income we earned and the expenses we incurred for our personal accountability. Well, nonprofit organizations have to do the same thing. Nonprofit organizations don't pay taxes. That's why it's called an information return instead of a tax return. But every year you have to let the IRS know how much money your organization generated to offer community services. You have to let them know through this information return. There are very, very few exceptions to the required annual filings. The three major types of Form 990s are as follows. Form 990, gross receipts $200,000 or more, and assets of $500,000 or more. So if you have gross receipts of $200,000 or more, and your nonprofit has assets of $500,000 or more, then your nonprofit organization must use the Form 990 type. Now, if your nonprofit organization generated $50,000 and $1 up to $199,999 and you have less than $500,000, then you can use the Form 990-EZ type. If your nonprofit organization generated between zero and $50,000 and you don't have any assets, then you can use the form. I won't say any assets, I'm sorry, but you have assets that are not um, listed or required to be listed by the IRS, then the IRS considers that as not applicable. Then you can use the Form 990-NE postcard. So the types of non the types of 990s are the Form 990, the Form 990-EZ, and the Form 990-N. And you can use this table to determine which type of Form 990 your organization must use. Again, the Form 990 is the standard form, and it's the $200,000 or more in gross revenues and $500,000 or more in assets. The Form 990-EZ is between... $50,001 of gross receipts to $199,999, and you have less than $500,000 in assets. And the third type is the Form 990-N, also called the e-postcard. And that's the Form 990 type that you use when your revenues are between zero and $50,000, and you don't have many assets. Now, it's important to note the zero here, because a lot of times people feel like, well, if I didn't generate any revenue, why am I doing a Form 990? You're doing it because you must do it. Effective 2016, the IRS implemented this required policy that if you do not file a Form 990 information return for three consecutive years, then you will lose your status. And it doesn't matter if you generate a zero. I let you know about myself personally. My nonprofit organization has not offered programs since 2013, but every single year I file a Form 990N e postcard so I can write so that we can retain the status of the nonprofit organization. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose the status. So even though the revenue is generated equals zero, that means I'm still going to file and you still have to file to retain your status, your 501c3 status. Because again, if you fail to file for three consecutive years, you will lose your status automatically and have to start the process all over again. So when do you file the Form 990 information return each year? Well, you use this chart, this calendar to show you that if your fiscal year ends on the dates shown, then your 990 is due on the date shown. Let me explain how this works. Your Form 990 information return is due five months and 15 days after your fiscal year ends. Let me repeat that. Your Form 990 information return is due five months and 15 days after your fiscal year ends. 
So if you use a fiscal year, that's the calendar year, January through December, your fiscal year ends on December the 31st. Therefore, your Form 990 is due by May the 15th. So this is how you remember when your Form 990s are due. Now, you don't have to wait five months and 15 days after your fiscal year ends. You can submit it anytime after your fiscal year ends, just like we can with our personal um, re returns to the IRS. However, the deadline, the due date is May the 15th if your fiscal year ends December the 31st. So just keep in mind when your Form 990 is due, because remember, if you fail to file your Form 990, for three years in a row, you will lose your status. So how to find the Form 990s? The Form 990s are located on the irs.gov website. And I have here select the link to view a video demonstrating the steps to locate the Form 990 information returns on the IRS website. So you will click here on the video demonstration that I've already created for you. And it will walk you through the steps to finding the Form 990s on the IRS website. So here's a review of what we've learned. Upon completion of this DIY quick guide, you'll be able to define the Form 990 information return, define the three major types of Form 990s, determine the annual due dates of the Form 990s, and locate the Form 990s on the IRS.gov website. How do you feel about the learning objectives now? Do you think we've met those? Do you think we've met the learning objectives? Let's take a look and see. Let's see how well we do on the knowledge check. Question number one, what are the three major types of Form 990 information returns? Answer to question one. Form 990, Form 990-EZ, Form 990-NE postcard. Okay, question number two, under the, under the knowledge check. What are the gross receipts and assets requirements to file the Form 990-NE postcard? Answer number two. Gross receipts are between zero and $50,000. Assets are not applicable. Question number three. If your nonprofit uses a calendar year as a fiscal year, when is the Form 990 due? Answer three. The Form 990 is due by May the 15th the following year because it is due five months and 15 days after the fiscal year ended on December the 31st. A calendar year ends on December the 31st. Conclusion. All 501c3 nonprofit organizations must file the appropriate Form 990 information return each year with few exceptions. The Form 990 information return explains the revenues generated and the expenses incurred in the prior fiscal year. There are three types of Form 990s. Gross revenues and assets determine the type you should complete for your nonprofit organization. The fiscal year end determines the Form 990 due dates. You must file the Form 990 NE postcard online. Congratulations! You completed the How to Choose the Correct Form 990 Information Return for your nonprofit DIY guide successfully. Now, if you enjoyed learning using a DIY guide format, I invite you to take a look at the other DIY guides I offer for busy nonprofit professionals who simply want the answers without the fluff. Here are the DIY guides, DIY guides that I offer. How to find federal government grant money for nonprofits how to find foundation grant money for nonprofits, how to find corporate grant money for nonprofits, how to write a nonprofit program budget, 
How to create an effective nonprofit board of directors. How to create a diverse fundraising strategy. How to create, it should read, how to create diverse fundraising strategies for nonprofits. How to choose the best 501c3 nonprofit reinstatement option. If you are unfortunate and you have your nonprofit status revoked, there are four reinstatement options. So this DIY guide will help you choose the best 501c3 nonprofit reinstatement option for you. How to write basic nonprofit grant proposals. How to sustain nonprofit services for the long term. How to establish a basic WordPress website for your nonprofit organization. Learn more about the DIY guides and how to add them to your library here. So you'll be able to click on this link. The Form 990N e-postcard. If your nonprofit organization generates $50,000 or less, then it qualifies to use the Form 990N e-postcard, as I mentioned before. I file the Form 990N e-postcard for nonprofit professionals who are too busy or simply do not have the desire to complete the process themselves. I can help you. I can file it for you. My fee includes the following. Helping the client confirm their nonprofit's eligibility to use the Form 990N e-postcard to file their annual report to the IRS. Completing the online process to submit the Form 990N e-postcard to the IRS. Sending the filing confirmation receipt to the client for their records. So I complete those three steps for you when you hire me to complete the Form 990N e-postcard for your nonprofit organization. To learn more and to get started, you will click on this link. Thank you so much for supporting my business over the years. I started my nonprofit consulting business in 2003, and I'm so blessed to have loyal clients to this day. Please follow me on my social media platforms below. Thank you for your time. I'm Susan Woods of Susan Woods Nonprofit Solutions and have a great day.